Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the following question, and the question says: Kevin invests nine thousand dollars in a company paying a dividend of six percent per annum. When a share of face value hundred dollars stands at one fifty dollars, what is his annual income? If he sells fifty percent of his shares. When the price rises to two hundred dollars, what is his gain in this transaction? Let's start the solution now. We are given that Kevin invests nine thousand dollars, and the market value of each share is one fifty dollars. So we can say that since Kevin invests. Nine thousand dollars and market value of each share is equal to one fifty dollars. So this implies number of shares bought by him. Is equal to his investment upon market value of share. This is equal to nine thousand dollars upon. Market value of each share, which is one fifty dollars, zero gets cancelled, and fifteen sixty times is nine hundred. So this is equal to sixty. We will now calculate his income on one share. This is equal to rate of dividend. Into face value of each share. Now we are given that the rate of dividend is six percent, and face value of each share is hundred dollars. So we have six percent of hundred dollars. This is equal to six dollars. Now first we have to calculate his annual income. So this implies his total annual income is equal to number of shares bought by him, that is sixty, into his income on one share, which is six dollars, and this is equal to three sixty dollars. So this is the answer. Now we are given that he sells fifty percent of his shares when the price rises to two hundred dollars, and we have to find his gain in this transaction. Now, since fifty percent of shares is equal to fifty percent of the total number of shares. Which is sixty. This is equal to fifty upon hundred into sixty. Fifty two times is hundred, and two thirty times is sixty. So this is equal to thirty. So we have fifty percent of shares is equal to thirty. So that means. He sells thirty shares when the price rises to two hundred dollars. So this implies money received on selling these shares is equal to the number of shares sold, that is thirty. 
into market value of each share sold that is $200 and this is equal to $6,000. Now he purchased the shares when the market value was $150. So for Kevin, cost of these shares is equal to the number of shares that is 30 into market value of the shares purchased that is $150 and this is equal to $4,500. Now we have to find his gain in this transaction. So therefore, Kevin's gain in this transaction is equal to money received on selling the shares which is $6,000 minus cost of the shares that is $4,500 and this is equal to $1,500 so Kevin's gain in this transaction is equal to $1,500 and this is our answer with this we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.